Hi there, Capricorn. Welcome to your reading for the week of 23rd until the 30th of September. Who or what is coming towards you for this week in the heart area, Queen of Cups? Uh, there could be a water sign in the picture, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is a natural, motherly energy. Someone who is learning and has learned to care for themselves, pour into their own cup. So there is a form of focus, a different form of focus for this person all right so there could be some situations where your cup has been opened and you are now closing that cup to care for yourself okay in the cross position the hermit virgo so there could be a virgo in the picture that is like that so the hermit upright is about retreating recharging you know situations where we want where we may want to know the answers we're being told to like not overdo it or we don't have to know the answers at that time. We don't have to have it all figured out. So there could be some situations here where maybe the puzzle pieces have not come together fully yet and you're being guided to let it be. Okay. It could also be someone who has been looking. This is a spiritual process. So a kind of spiritual monitoring as well could be going on here. What we call monitoring spirits. Okay. I feel there are people watching you as well. In the past position, the star, Aquarius. Um, there could be an Aquarius in the picture. This has a lot to do with your generosity. Your generosity is being highlighted. And how the tables have turned even for you is like there's a lot of shift in perspective that you are having right now towards yourself, about yourself. So a lot where you would pour outside, you are now pouring in. So that is also shifting others perception about you for the future position the empress venus so there could be a mother figure you could be this empress energy as well um but this is a lot to do with abundance royalty someone in an authority position as well there could be a lady landlady ceo and this person could be coming towards you or the other way around nine of swords in the root position so there could be situations that are keeping someone at night keeping someone up at night in the crown area strength leo so this could be a leo energy or a leo and this strength is also highlighting regulation regulation moderation regulation moderation this is why i keep getting perhaps these situations are testing you they're testing your your willpower yeah they're testing your willpower and i keep saying situations because you may not see them in the present but it's a lot to do with your generosity so you could have people coming to to one from you not the other way around you are showing up as a giver and your test from the universe is to see how like the lessons that you have taken up from the past so it feels like you you have a lot of lesson, lessons that have been learned and you're taking them with you to the present. In all of this, I know I sound a bit like, oh, there's something wrong. No, it's just a form of checking that I'm getting here, like moderation, regulation. It's like things are blowing up for you. And what you're being guided to, without me going so further into this aspect of the reading, you are being guided to pour into 
word pours back into you a form of healthy energy exchange abundance is so important and that in itself is testing you okay in the area of approach ace of swords so yeah this is truth justice for you the ace of swords could be some clarity coming to you a breakthrough perhaps in this times you're having clarity coming to you or it could be someone else who is approaching you with truth this person may be feeling like maybe this is the same person that has had to go in and they're coming in with some kind of truth outside influences the moon the moon could be the moon herself like the divine feminine we just we just went through the full moon in pisces the eclipse so there could also be a divine feminine in the physical or situations here that feel in the dark you see even the hermit was talking about not fully figured out right so you could also be making others to question right so it's a form of puzzle perhaps you're puzzling okay you're puzzling you are a puzzle that may need to be solved <laughs> something like that or there's a puzzle that you are on the way to solving okay hopes and fears six of pentacles this is give and take for the hopes and fears i'm getting give and take so there could be a situation here that is coming back because a lot of them are indeed coming back around there is one who is still in the process of like balancing out and just by this has tested you as well and now you're testing yourself together with the universe it's like you're going for everything that gives back to you this is that healthy energy exchange as well is a form of receiving here you're opening to receive and that sounds fun flow but you do know what this is okay for the outcome the hanged man talk about pisces so we have the moon the hanged man there could be a pisces cancer a water sign in the picture but this is your whole world that is shifting i'm i'm hearing the tables have been turned and this time around the tables being turned is coming to the person who is a giver right and that giver is learning to to check with themselves to operate and co-create with the universe this is a borderline <laughs> yeah you're literally at a borderline for the outcome here the hanged man you could find yourself going and you see the hermit the hanged man is given pisces virgo which is the season that we are coming out of so there are a lot of lessons that have been learned i believe from leo season with the full moon in aquarius and then up until now and you you are now in a transition and there will be checks here and there it's all about your receiver there could be a twin flame connection here or a high level soulmate as well that has caused a lot of changes for you a lot of challenges as well yeah okay messages for capricorn influence so i see ace of swords influence so there could be a microphone here or something that you're speaking with use your influence for change you may do public speaking social videos or interviews your voice and opinions are important okay i see three cards here so let's see authority so that is empress clashes with the boss or a challenge to your power will compel you to respond choose peaceful solutions if you can roll the dice time to put yourself out there you are hiding your talents 
and it's time to take a risk and step into the spotlight now. Wow, you're stepping into the spotlight. It says here 432. So 432 could be significant. It's a frequency. And there is that perspective. If, we ch if you change the way you look at things, you could see everything in a brand new light that will help you get to where you want to be. Progress. It seems like a long slog, but you, your efforts will pay off soon. Stay on course for at least a few more months before making a change. So a lot to do with change and tenacity and perspective. Let's get more about the Empress and Nine of Swords. Three of Wands. There is that expansion. This is beautiful. I just have to tell you. It, all the tests that I'm getting here is regarding a triangle. You, the universe, like source, provider, and outside influences that you have healed from and in all of that there are puzzle pieces coming together for you and it's all coming together in due time so this is your due justice right here nine of swords king of pentacles so there could be a taurus Virgo, capricorn i'm getting earth signs there's leo and then water signs in your reading the hanged man ace of pentacles so this is a new beginning a brand new beginning it feels like it has a lot of light not only does it have a lot of light it is light in weight angels and ancestors what do you have for capricorn great teacher learn from spiritual experiences so this could be about your spiritual journey changing commitments wow as i said changing commitments i'm not even getting like a complete uprooting just like the ace of pentacles it's not like the tree is being uprooted right is a replacement of the heart area so there's a lot about you not really moving but still you're glowing. This is Tafiti. This is the earth. Wow. Spring. See your seeds grow. Gaia. Yeah, Mother Earth. You're being blessed here. You are blessed. Know that what is happening around you is divinely inspired. Learn from your current experiences, then share them with others. Okay. This card can represent a teacher in your life or the great teacher within. Either way, it shows that you have dedicated a lot of time, effort and energy to understanding yourself and the world. You are having spiritual experiences at this time and gaining a greater awareness of what you need to do in order to grow. There is a great chance that if you've been having any challenges recently, you've surmounted them and allowed them to be vehicles to lessons that are helping your spiritual connection. If you feel that you've received messages from heaven or the universe recently, this card is confirmation that these have indeed been holy experiences. Spring Wow, well done on this. Okay, Spring, where are you? Embrace the change that is on the horizon. Allow your dreams to become reality. You are ready to bring to life all of your ideas, inspirations and projects. When this card appears, you are moving into a space that allows you to really grow, expand and create in a way you've never done before. There are opportunities for abundance, including financial growth. And if you are starting something new, prepare for a major expansion in your life and soul. 
Alright Capricorn, I wish you a blessed week. I'll come back with more videos. Do take care. Bye-bye.